animals are not able to change their facial expressions, so we need to translate their body language instead. <laughs> when assessing any wild animal, we need to open our eyes and ears for additional clues. The first question you should ask yourself is, what am I looking at? You may come across a breeding herd of elephants, consisting of a matriarch and females with their offspring. Observe the behaviour of older females first, as it is their responsibility to ensure the safety of the herd. You may come across an adolescent male that has been kicked out of the herd and is wandering around on his own. Without the security of the herd, he may be feeling nervous and will either move away or attempt to intimidate what he perceives to be a threat. Or you may come across a small group of males where an older bull is teaching younger ones some etiquette and how to behave like gentlemen. Then ask yourself, what can I hear? Listen carefully for alarm calls which might indicate the presence of predators lurking nearby. Elephants are very intelligent and are well known for exhibiting displacement behaviour. Watch how they are eating. Is the food actually being swallowed or is it being dropped to the ground? If swallowed, the elephant is content. If the food falls to the ground, the elephant is playing poker and trying to bluff you into believing it is eating. When this happens, you know the elephant is unsure of the situation. What do their tails tell us? The tail of a relaxed elephant swings from side to side. The tail of an alert elephant is held still pointing downwards. The tail of an angry or scared elephant is held out at right angles from the body. What do their ears tell us? On a hot day, elephants flap their ears to cool down. If an elephant is unsettled, it will raise its head and spread out its ears in an attempt to show off how big they are. This is often followed by a head shake which is their way of telling us, I see you and now I'm keeping my eye on you. The best response in these situations is to remain still and quiet. However, if the elephant proceeds to move hastily in your direction, it would be a good idea to move off as calmly and as slowly as possible. What do their trunks tell us and how to know if a bull is in must? Elephants use their trunks for everything, eating, drinking, smelling, touching and trumpeting. Analyse if the trunk movement is focused. If feeding, the elephant is relaxed. If the elephant is standing still with its trunk raised and pointing to a certain direction, it means the elephant has picked up a particular scent and is trying to establish the location. Sometimes an elephant is seen with its trunk down and the tip is twisting from side to side. This is a sign of anxiety and it is deciding what to do next. The most important trunk sign comes from the bulls in must. They sometimes drape their trunks over their tusks and this is generally their attempt at intimidation. Kind of like a villain flashing open his coat to reveal a weapon. In these instances, rather just move out of his way, as hormones are playing havoc with his system. Testosterone levels can reach 60 times more than the normal level. His back legs will be coated in urine and he will have a very distinct smell. An elephant in must will show secretions from the temporal glands. These oily secretions in all elephants are a reflection of nervousness, stress or excitement. What do elephant feet have to say? Elephants are continuously moving and use their feet to loosen tufts of grass or to dig out roots and bulbs. If an elephant is still but not sleeping, it means something may be amiss and they are listening intently. If the elephant is rocking from side to side, 
This is an indication of indecision or anxiety. Please remember, this guide is intended to assist beginners in reading elephant body language so they can better understand the elephant's behavior. Each sighting will have different circumstances and needs to be handled accordingly. Animals are not dangerous, but can become dangerous if we do not pay attention to the signs they are giving us.